Uh, today we'll uh, introduce uh, Delta ASPOC AD uh, DA module setting. Basically, it's for analog module. So you can see the system system architecture as here. So the, today we will use a zero six XA. This module will include four input chain, uh, analog channel and two uh, channel for analog output. So uh, we will use a 0 to 10 volt in channel 1 and channel 2 use a 4 to 20 milliamp. So you can see the wiring diagram. We will connect the uh, voltage output from channel 1 uh, to input channel channel 1 and for the analog uh, AG to uh, minus. So you can also check from here. Okay. For the plus, we will connect to uh, V1 plus, and for zero volt, we will connect to uh, V minus. Uh, regarding L, uh, current input, here we have to short a uh, circuit uh, V plus and I plus. So here we use a channel two. That means we have to short circuit a V two and I two plus. And another another side for the uh, zero, we connect to AG. Okay, so that's the wiring for uh, voltage and current input. Then we'll uh, show you the input mode and the output mode of for Delta ASPOC module. You can see the input mode, we provide a plus minus 10 volt, zero to 10, plus minus five, zero to five, one to five volt, uh, plus minus 20 milliamp, uh, zero to 20, four to 20 milliamp. And you can see the conversion range it would be uh, 32K, okay? And if from zero or uh, zero to, or four to uh, 20 milliamp, also uh, zero to uh, 32K, and we can, uh, here have to emphasize the input or module, the resol hardware resolution is a uh, 16 bit. However, for the output, we have only uh, 12 bit, but uh, you can see the conversion uh, range still uh, become a plus minus 32K or a zero to 32K. Uh, from this table, you can find for the output mode, we don't have a plus minus uh, 20 milliamp, but a uh, rest, mo rest mode we support. And here, just want to remind that for the format, we will uh, provide integer. Uh, if you use an integer format, then you have to follow the conversion range above, from above table. However, if you want to use a float, then you can uh, define the range by yourself. For example, now channel one is a zero to uh, zero to ten volt, and we want the range from zero to uh, one hundred. So uh, for the output, we will set uh, zero to ten, uh, one hundred, and input first channel we also set a uh, zero to one hundred, and output we set a uh, four to uh, twenty milliamp. So here you can set maybe start from four. Okay, to uh, 200, or here I will use a zero uh, to 200 as example. And you can see the data mapping, that means we can uh, use, we can control the output and monitor the status uh, from this data register. So you can find uh, for channel one output, it will be uh, D uh, to add or one or it will occupy uh, two words, means it's a double word. So uh, later we will show both uh, uh, select in float or uh, integer. So we will show you the difference. Okay. Here we'll show you, uh, still first you have to select the interface to connect to POC. So today we'll use a USB as example. Then here we select the uh, USB, okay, and 
the example user as 218TX. Then we uh, select the communication USB so you can check the status so it can connect to PLC. Then we double click uh, how we config. After that, we add on as zero uh, six XA. Then we double click, and first we will try with the integer format, and you can see the uh, mapping uh, address. I mean data register. Okay, first we select zero to ten volt. Second, uh, second channel we select four to mil uh, twenty million. And for channel three and channel four, because we don't use, so we just select disable. For output, we select uh, zero to ten and four to twenty milliamp. Okay, after that, we can download the setting. Okay, and we can back to software and create a. New New POU. Maybe you just type a simple one, for example, and zero output and all. And after that, we can download the program and later. Oh, we can create the device monitor table. And if you already forget, let's go back to check. Uh, the output is a D two eight o one o. Okay, so here D two eight o one o four digit. So this one is for the channel one and channel two output. And then we want to monitor uh, channel one and channel two input. If you cannot remember. Uh, we can check again. You be a D two at all two. Okay. Then maybe um. Now we use the uh integer format, so we can use a uh, thirty two k. Okay, so you can see for the input is roughly uh thirty two k. Means a maximum value. Then for the current uh, output, we also give a uh, thirty-two. So you can see also roughly thirty-two k means uh, almost uh, twenty million. And now we will change the uh, format to uh, float. So as I mentioned earlier, we will change uh, use of zero. To one hundred, and for channel two would be zero to two hundred, and for the output still zero to one hundred and the zero to two hundred. So after that, uh, do this setting. We download the setting again. Okay, and back to the device monitoring table. Okay, we can give the value one hundred percent, so fifty percent plus. So you can see if we give a fifty percent means of five volts. So the input channel uh, will around five volt, and now we give a one hundred percent. So you can see the value is around one hundred percent, and then we change to a uh, current output. Also, give a uh, uh, we try one hundred. Means a uh, 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 middle value. So you can see uh, for the analog uh, current input also around one hundred, and now we give a uh, twenty milliamps. Means two hundred. So you can find for the uh, channel two, it's also around uh, two hundred means uh value is nearly 
uh, 20 million. And if you want to uh, do it become exactly uh, 200 or uh, 100, so we can do some calibration uh, from how we complete here. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. Thank you.